Welcome back. My next guest is gearing up for a busy week as well. His Golden Triangle Raceway Park is getting set to host a dirt track race next Sunday for a good cause. Track owner Glenn Johnson joins me now. Glenn, thanks for coming on the show. I enjoy it. Thank you for inviting me. Big race on Sunday for a good cause. Tell me about it. Correct. We're having the Brian Morrill Memorial Race and the 7th Annual Joe Graham Memorial Race. It's a race for a cure. And uh, we're having the 305 Race Saver fuel injected wing sprint cars. And then we're also having the Limited Modified, which Brian run in, and we're paying 2000 to win in it, and 150 I think it is, to start. Uh, we're having the uh, Modifieds, the Gulf Coast Modifieds. We're having the Hobby Street Stock Shootout and a Pure and, and uh, Factory Stock Shootout. So, and also we're having the mod light. So we have a variety yeah, everything of all going to be there. <laughs> to be there. So it ought to be a great right, night of racing. Good stuff. A lot of race fans enjoy that. And you mentioned how it goes to a good cause. I know the American Cancer Society, if I'm not mistaken, Correct. there will be money raised for that. Correct. Uh, we'll have auctions and, and uh, part of the money from the 50-50 uh, money will go towards it. So it'll be a, uh, we've always raised a lot of money over the past six years. For them, and uh, it's it's been a good cause, and we we're enjoying having it. The home stretch of the race car season. That's right. How is the season going so far? It's been good this year. We've had a lot of uh, sprint car races, and people in this area likes that. Uh, we've had uh, all the races we've had. It's been a good race this year. The track's been good. Uh, can't complain. I know it's extremely hot. We always joke about the temperatures right before football season it gets hot yeah. and you know it affects everything H yeah. how does the heat affect the dirt track well uh we're fortunate we had some good rain the other day we was able to poke holes in the track with the sheep foot so that's an opportunity for us to get water down in deep in the track uh next week i'll put probably six loads on it friday night probably 10 loads on it Saturday night, which that's 2,000 gallons a load. And Sunday, we'll probably put 20 loads of water on it. So it's a lot of uh, ice bucket challenges. Lot, a lot of ice bucket <laughs> challenges, exactly. I want to touch on a subject that <clears throat> has been talked about across the whole motorsports and even into outside the motorsports world. The accident up in New York. Um, it was on a dirt track. Tony Stewart, of course, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series driver, hit Kevin Ward Jr. Um, who was out of the car after an accident, stepped out, got on the track, and Tony's car hit him. And obviously, as we know by now, the impact killed Kevin. Correct. So I just want to get your thoughts on when you first heard about that as a dirt track owner, what was going through your mind? Yeah, I heard about it right after it happened on Facebook, and it, it just sends chills up your back that knowing it happened, especially when it could have been um, not a subject if he hadn't got out of his car. Uh, that's one thing that we always tell the drivers, unless the car is on fire or you have gas pouring on you, stay still until the safety crew gets to you, then we'll help you exit. And also that'll get the car stopped. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a bad situation. It's bad for, uh, you know, we've had other people get killed this year and all over the United States. Uh, this one just brought more attention to it because of who it was involved in it. Um, it it's, it's a sad situation for Tony. It's a sad situation for the young man's family. Hopefully we're rooting for a safe race on Sunday. We will be out there 530. We'll be out there actually doing our sports cast out there next Sunday. So we're very excited for that. And well, Glenn. we're always glad to have you. You do a great job, and it's uh, great to have you in our local uh, area that somebody that loves racing.